I got the papers and the trash. Hey guys, movie fan twenty three, and today or tonight, I'm going to be doing a movie review slash movie review slash movie review. Ooh 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 ooh. Whatever. On this fucking classic Ivan Reitman movie, Twins. I got a Ghostbusters shirt, motherfucker! Yeah, because he directed that as well. The late, great Ivan Reitman, who also directed Kid in a Garden Cop. Um, so, Twins made in the year of 1980. Fucking A! Directed by Ivan Reitman, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. How you doing? What are you doing here? So, it stars Mr. Freeze and the Penguin. <laughs> Yeah, funny. <laughs> anyway, so basically, what the plot of Twins is: got these two guys, one played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He basically grew up on this island. He uh, was created by six people. He had six fathers, and they created him this machine, and it was given to the, you know, and. The mother gave birth to do these two twins. So Arnie shot out first, and then Danny DeVito shot out second. And, and, and basically, what ends up happening then is pretty much the two of them get separated at birth. Now, what ends up happening is they tell the mother that one of them passed away, which is not the case. That one being Danny DeVito. And the other one is alive. But they take him away. And a guy on an island trains Aaron Schwarzenegger. Trains him how to fight. Be kind. And basically just be a decent human being. And Arnold, while he's on that island, just reads books. And gets to learn a lot. And actually becomes really smart. And really humble. And nice. And warm. And lovely and sexy and oh if I were gay anyway basically he becomes like a you know a good person but he learns that he has a brother by this scientist dude he was like, I got the brother oh, I cannot wait to meet him what's his name I'll get to the chopper and then he goes um Vincent so Vincent's his name I'm like oh I can't wait to meet him he's like does he look like me it's great oh no he's not identical he's like oh, okay cool so he gets on this little, you know, those little kind of rubbery boat things and you get to see his body. Kind of similar to when he got on the thing in Commando. But anyway, he goes to this city. To a nice ass city. Oh, yeah. So he goes on his way. He gets on a plane, goes over. And on the plane, he listens to Take out the papers and the trash. And he sings it really fucking loud and talks to this girl. It's like, I've never heard this type of music before. And it's just a fucking great scene. Um, meanwhile, we have Danny DeVito, who is, of course, a ladies' man, like he always is. Oh, Danny, oh, yo. And essentially is having sex with this woman. And he's like, oh, oh damn, oh, no. And then he runs out of the house and then runs to this place, um, gets the car. And there's these asshole gangsters after him. Because he's kind of stealing money from them and stealing stuff from them. And he's a bit of a, he's a bit of an old scatterway trim, like your dear dear buddy. Don't know why the hell I sounded like Larry the Cable Guy. Um, actually kind of funny I mentioned that. Anyway, so basically, um, he ends up coming across an ex-girlfriend and she has a sister. But the ex-girlfriend pretty much loves him. They have this weird kind of lovey-dovey shit. So she hides in a cafe and the gang's just looking for him like, where is the little shit? And all that. So Danny DeVito has his own business or whatever called fucking, that he works for called uh, Vince Benedict. Yeah, Benedict's second name. Vince Benedict. And he has a secretary and he's kind of lazy. And people basically, some people are just after him. And he does things like steal cars and fucking, he gets parking tickets and he's just a troublemaker. So Arnie arrives to the city, he looks around, he gets ice cream, he's basically like a curious child going through clothes shops, just, just being a nice guy, talking to people, and he's in fucking shorts. And of course, who wears short shorts? I wear short shorts! 
don't know why it sounded like Toad if he was from fucking New York. Anyway, so yeah, he ends up wearing shorts or whatever. And then, you know, coincidentally, uh, he's right beside Danny DeVito and they both scratch their little pe- their little buttocks. <laughs> oh, I thought you were lucky. Um, basically, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Pretty much then, what ends up happening then is, fuck, I need to calm down, is basically, um, fucking Arnie and Danny, Arnie and fucking Vincent end up meeting, and how they end up meeting is Danny DeVito ends up getting fucking pulled over, or not pulled over, he ends up going, gets threatened by a couple of people, gets a fucking um, ticket, parking ticket, and pretty much um, ends up being put in prison or jail. So Arnie's just there walking around town. These guys try to mug him. He's kind of oblivious to it and has the great, oh, the pavement was his enemy, quote. I love that. And then essentially he finds out Vincent's in prison. He goes and visits him. He's really happy to see him. They talk to each other. At first, he's like, oh, we're twins. You know that? Eh, you shut it. And pretty much he's like, yeah. I'm, it's like I'm looking in a mirror, and basically, they're not. He, Danny DeVito doesn't buy that they're twins because they look. He's like, we're not identical. Oh really? And all that, and pretty much, he's not. A, they, they, he like, you know, Vince is trying to. Vince Arnold Schwarzenegger's character is trying to. Uh, Julius, that's his name. Julius is trying to. Um, basically convince him that no we're, we're related we lost our mother our mother died at birth or whatever and he's like yeah my mother's no hag and if she, you know like, i don't want her you know whatever and basically he's pretty much arguing with him but then vince goes back to his business these guys end up coming and beating him up and vince basically fucking drives off on julius but then they're trying they throw vince through a fucking window and then Julius comes and fucks them up and goes, you forgot the first rule. And then fucking goes, yeah, chico, wahoo! Beats the fucking shit out of them. And you get a nice little action scene because you're like, yeah, this is a comedy, but there's definitely some action in this. So Arnie goes and fucks these guys up. Him and he's like, oh, thank you and all that. And then they're talking and then he's like, we could start a little business together. And he's like, yeah, I mean, of course, we're brothers. We're twins. Like, no, look, pal, we're not twins. We're not brothers, you know. Stop saying that. You're freaking me out. So, pretty much they do different things, and Arnie ends up just wanting to find out more about his mother. So, he ends up going to this big ass fucking mansion. Big ass erection mansion. I don't know what the fuck it was. And there's a guy there, the fat, this kind of dude, and a bunch of other people, and pretty much. He ends up, um, he ends up basically like playing with his sons, and then Arnie asks, "Oh, can I come in? You know, can I, can I ask you questions about the mother?" And then he thinks at first that it's his father, but no, it's one of the people that helped make him. And he basically says, "Yeah, the mother is still probably still alive, and uh, you know, he was, um, you know, he was kind of separated. They told, they lied to her and told him that the." the father was dead or whatever and or not that the, the baby died and pretty much Arnie's like wait I have a my mother's alive and stuff like yeah oh that's great and all that so he's like he explains the whole backstory it's like you can go to this person and find out but I warn you that he's a bit of a dickhead and Arnie's like dickhead he's like you, you, the guy's like do you understand what I mean he's like dickhead no I don't so that's it with that so then him and Arnie um they kind of start bonding a little bit more they meet up uh Danny DeVito's kind of pretending to steal cars for this kind of charity thing but he, he's pretending to so he help so Arnie ends up helping them steal a car Arnie learns how to drive for like an hour then they meet up with the two girls Arnie hits it off with the girl the sister that isn't a fan of Danny DeVito's character. Uh, and Danny DeVito's obviously with the sister, Linda. Linda! Sorry, I had to do the Daz Games thing. So, that's it with that. So, as they get in the car to drive home, 
he's like, yo, the itch likes you, you know, and then they, they go to the house, they, and then Annie starts to have microwave food because he hasn't had much of it. They talk a little bit. They still argue over the whole thing. He's like, look, my mother, our mother is still alive, you know. He's like, look, even if she is alive, I hope she... It's in pain. She caused me misery. She just left. It's like, no, but she loves you. She loves both of us. And just, he's basically convincing them to stay. And then something ends up going wrong and smashing through the house. And meanwhile, you have these fucking bad guys who are like up to no good. These brothers, these gangsters. And you've got the guy, a villain, the main villain of the movie. who's played by the guy that's in Total Recall as well. The, you know, the, Kletus <laughs> Klepto. Yeah. No, that's. Just don't, that, that's not what it sounds like. <laughs> anyway, but, um, see so that guy, but you also have, what's his face? No, he's also in Nightmare on Elm Street 2, and he was also in, uh, Good Morning Vietnam, I believe. So, yeah, he's the villain, and he's basically wanting to kill them, and wants five million dollars, because these other guys... Uh, wanting to do this thing for five million dollars a guy is also there trying to teaming up with these other two guys uh, that were trying to basically get him and then he ends up sh but the villain ends up shooting the other two guys that are uh, have a deal with someone or whatever Um, basically the villain is after him and essentially what ends up happening is Danny I know I'm taking a while to explain the plot but there's actually a lot in this plot Danny DeVito ends up getting this car, stealing this car with this massive engine in it, and it's worth $5 million. So he's like, oh my God, it's worth $5 million, oh my God, and all that. And he signs his thing, and he makes a deal with someone so he can get $5 million. So he wants to take a trip to New Mexico. The two girls end up, like, the, Linda wants to go with him. So he brings his sister and then Arnie ends up bringing them and it ends up being their birthday as well. And Arnie's in the shower and he bonds with the woman more. So they end up going on this trip to New Mexico. And while they're, you know, just, I don't know if it's just before that, but while they're Arnie and Danny DeVito's character end up going and meeting the guy that they were told to meet. And then Danny DeVito finally believes that him and Arnie are brothers because the guy knows his name is Vincent. Now, Arnie throughout the movie, at the start of the film, went to Vincent's old orphanage because that's where Vincent was raised and all that stuff. So that's when they start bonding. They go to New Mexico, have a laugh, do kind of funny things together. Uh, Vincent wants to kind of help Arnie with the girl because they're, they're very close, they're in cars together. They go nightclubbing together, they go out. They have sex, have sex, have sex, poop my hand, say yes. Yeah, they have sex. Um, Linda wants to move in with Danny DeVito. He's like, yeah, no, that's not happening. We'll sleep on it. Um, they eventually go and visit the mother, even though they don't know it's the mother. And then Danny DeVito gets pissed off at all of them and then fucks off. Meanwhile, the villain is just basically kind of going after them. He ends up shooting the gangsters that are in the house. And... Uh, there's another great scene where he ties up the guy that's in the fucking the toll booth the another yeah that's funny and um yeah so pretty much then they kind of have that uh twin connection arnie ends up driving uh he gets with the girl as i said then he ends up um you know danny devito gets the money the other bad guys make the deal with them, go off, they get shot, then the villain comes with the fucking machine gun or whatever, and then Arnie comes and helps them, and they drop a chain on them, save the day, become brothers again, become a family, and of course, they end up getting, to the girls getting married, they end up reuniting with their mother, and they end up having two twins, sets of twins of their own, and then we get the song Twins. So what do I think of this movie? I love this movie with a fucking passion. This is a classic. This is a classic comedy with elements of action. I wouldn't say it's a full-on action film, but it is a fucking brilliant comedy with amazing funny writing, amazing cinematography, an amazing Blu-ray print as well. Like The quality is unbelievable. 
and it is just a classic. Now, this will probably be my second or third favourite Ivan Reitman movie next to Ghostbusters. I do actually like this a lot more than Kidney Garden Cop, which I love Kidney Garden Cop if you saw my review. But, let's get into this. First of all, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito's chemistry are, is just spectacular. They work so well together. They bounce off each other really well. They're really funny. They're like polo opposites. Danny DeVito is a bit more grumpy and more aggressive. And then Arnie's more the lovable, like, friendly giant almost, you know? And they just play off each other so fucking well. Um, but where do I even begin? Dan the Danny DeVito has some of the best lines. But anyway, I love a lot of the scenes in it. I'm going to get to that now. I love the opening scene where you get the whole long time ago, this is what happened. You know, there were two boys that were separated. You get this kind of shot of people walking and there's like this machine. It's like, and the, he's basically explaining how people were like making babies. They weren't doing it the old fashioned way. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so they're doing that and there's people working out. And then you have Heather Graham playing the young version of the mother. Um, which I fucking forgot she was even in this movie. Um, I'm like, oh shit, Heather Graham. She's, of course, very sexy. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, so pretty much then she's there, takes the babies. You have this great kind of moment with the two babies. They're like, we, they were one separated at birth. Like, they thought there was just one, but there was two. And then they're both put, put up, they're crying. Like, ah, ah. Just a shot and then put down and they're both crying and then the leg hits the other and you get the opening scene, the opening credits and pops up twins and I love the fucking title. And then you get the kind of story of Arnold Schwarzenegger and just you're instantly thrown in and it's great. Um he's like, wait, he's like, so I was there raising them on the island and they're walking through the grass thingy. He's like, I have a twin brother? He's like, Yeah. I have to go meet him and all that. He's like, Wow. This is exciting, yeah. And then, like, there's just this nice kind of really smart montage at the beginning of the movie where where he's like, what? He's like, you taught him how to fight, taught him how to read, taught him how to do everything. It's like, I have to go meet him. It's like, I can't wait to meet him. And I love Arnold's kind of childlike enthusiasm. Like, it's not like the other characters who play. It's like, he, once again, he's another likable character, a very lovable guy. But he's not like the other characters he's played. And I, I like that about this movie. It's just fucking great, you know? He's like, oh yeah, and he's like, like that. He's like, yeah, I have to go meet him. I'll let you know to get him, meet him, and then they they say bye, and then they he pulls out the fucking boat thing, and goes off, and it's just a great introduction to Arnie's character. And then we get Danny DeVito's character, who's an introduction, and then the the uh, suburban neighborhoods like, honey, I'm home. She goes, oh no, and he's just there making it with this girl, and it's like, honey, I'm home. She goes, oh no, he's like. Oh no! And he gets up and he fucking runs like, oh yeah, I gotta go. Puts it up, jumps it, like climbs at the window. Bye, I'll call you. Runs off, and you get the do 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 do. It's just really cheesy eighties music that I fucking love. Brilliant soundtrack, original soundtrack, and the songs that are featured in this movie. It is it's fucking brilliant, dude. So he's running. Oh no! Yeah, he's running and all that. I runs into him like, hi. Yeah, so I was there. It's like, hi. How are you? It's like, Linda, how you doing? Like, hi. It's like, I thought you broke up into me. I did. I did. I did. And they start kissing. It's like, ugh. How you doing? You're looking great. Can I go in here? Like, yeah, I gotta go. So they're in there. They're talking. And like, you really buy their chemistry at the beginning. You get that he actually cares about her. And it's not just a, a regular fling. And I, I like that about the film. Like, it's I like that kind of aspect of it. So he's in there. And then the fucking gangster just runs in. And it's like, where is the little shit? I don't know. I don't know. He, he, well, he just came through here. I, I don't know. And he's just crawling and then he's under the table like, oh, yeah. It's like he couldn't even crawl out of here on his two feet. And she says that a bit after. And then she's kind of looking over laughing and the cheesecake or whatever is falling on him. He's like, oh, yeah. And he runs out. And I like the kind of polar difference between the two characters. I thought that was very, very funny. Um, and, yeah, I thought that was great. Um how they like Danny DeVito is very he's very funny in this he, he has some of the same kind of wit that he has and it's always sunny in Philadelphia with the, the kind of edgy humor and even elements of trauma from the train in this but I love when he's like yeah it's great oh I got a parking ticket are you serious 
and then like he I love when he's like okay and he opens up and steals a car and drives it away like that's how he gets away from the other guy Um, I love that that scene is absolutely fucking brilliant Um, and I love the moment where um, you know Arnie's just in like on the plane the plane's flying or whatever and he's like they got the papers and the trash do, 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 and everyone's just kind of looking at him in the plane it's like yakety yak don't talk back and all that stuff and he's like oh you good definitely a good singer he's like oh sorry i'm not used to this type of music it's great i'll turn it down he's like yeah it's great and then like the plane is flying and you just get the they got the papers they get the papers and i love that like little remix thing you know um I just thought that was fucking excellent. And then, you know, coming out of the airport, it's like, oh, yeah, great. And he's just walking around. And I, I love it. Like, he's just enjoying life, getting an ice cream, walking around on his shorts and all that. And just looking. Um, a friend just texted me there. He's just looking around. And I just, I like that kind of aspect. Um, but Arnie, like, he just, he has such a cutie vibe, not in a gay way. But I love when it's, at night, like walking around at night, and you get these beautiful shots of the city and the cars and all of that, and it's just fucking awesome. Um, and he's driving around or whatever, or no, he's not driving; he's walking. And um, ooh, yeah, I smell good. Anyway, and um, he's walking, and this guy's like, "Hey, you new around town?" He's like, "Oh yes, I am." He's like, "Yeah, well, you getting much?" No, I was basically raised on nine. It's like, uh huh, uh huh, and then there's a guy on a bike behind him going, "It's great." And he tries to grab his suitcase because he had a briefcase. He's like, ah, oh, falls over. He's like, what the hell's the matter with you? It was not me. The pavement was his enemy. Okay, you better just get out of whatever island you came from. He's like, he's okay. He's like, he's here. He's no pulse. I'm not sure. And it's like, it's kind of cool because it's like, oh, shit. He knows stuff from learning so much, which I thought was really original. And he's like, yeah, well, you just got to get out of whatever tree you came from and go. And essentially, she's like, yeah, okay, sorry. He's like, yeah, sorry, whatever. So I like that. That was funny as shit. Um, so I was like, oh, fuck. Um, I love the little things, like, when they're walking around the streets and it, Danny and him are, like, beside each other and they both scratch their fucking ass cheeks and it's, like, two Chinese restaurants. It's, like, it's very nice visual kind of things there. But I love Danny DeVito um at the beginning and get to see his character going yeah look and you gotta get out of here he's driving around new york he's like hey how you doing how you doing ladies i love that star how you doing ladies like just dumped him no i didn't it's like it's great oh i know i did i know i did i like that part as well but i liked when danny devito tries like hey can you uh to the tall it's like you can get me on this pick like a whole bunch of money to this guy he's like no i can't do this i can't keep doing this to you i'm like no you have to come on he's like fine that's fine I'll let you do it one, this one time. I was like, okay, thank you. You're a lifesaver. You're a lifesaver and all that. And I love that. Um, but I like seeing him drive, walk around, talking, whatever. He's got funny moments like that. Um, I love when he goes up, oh, yeah, to the secretary. Like, oh, she called. Oh, that's great. He called. That's awesome. Yeah. And all that. And he's talking to the woman. And he's like, oh, we got this for you. He's like, that is beautiful. And he grabs the secretary and kisses her like, Mwah, that is amazing. And you get a shot of her feet, which uh, Tarantino would have liked. This she was like, yeah, walks off. Um, And I love that fucking scene uh, where the guy is grab come in like, what is that? Oh, strong true. Like, oh, get out of here. Oh. Where are you, you going to pay up? Hey, what are you doing, man? It's like, we're going to kill you. We want to pay you to pay up. It's like, no. He's like, you forgot the first rule of this. It's like, what? Like, he's like, stop it. I don't like violence. And he's like, what? He kicks him. He's like, Pah. he pulls him against him. Like, you son of a bitch. He's like, whoa. And he, Danny, he's like, I don't like violence. And he goes up and kicks him. It's fucking awesome. It's like, what the fuck? He's like, you came back. He's like, How, where's your learn to do that? I learned it on the island. I don't like violence. And he walks off. It's like, oh my God, we and you could do like a business thing. You know, make things you karate chop and walk. And she's like, no, I don't like violence. It's just not my thing. But of course, why did you come back? It's like, because we're brothers. We're not brothers. You got to stop that. We're not twins. But we are. We're, we, we look, you know, we don't look alike. But still, you know, I, I like that funny kind of back and forth chemistry. Like, they just work so well together for Apollo opposite actors. Um, 
And it's no wonder that they work together again. I mean, they work together in junior. He's actually in Last Action Hero as well, Danny DeVito, as a voice of the Tiger thingy. Um, but yeah, like, I love that comedy aspect of it. And, you know, I like the whole part where he comes out, Danny DeVito comes out and like, are you seriously going to give me a parking ticket? You play, Is this your car? Look, why, why would you give me a parking ticket? Five fifty dollars, million dollars, five thousand dollars. You serious? He's like, this your car? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for losing my temper, officer. License and registration, please. Like, I'm sorry. And then you get the shot of him getting arrested. He's like, oh shit. And I was like, gotta talk to my lawyer and all that. Um, and I, I like that. That was a very funny, um, scene. And and he's like, oh, that's what he is. Oh, cool. And then. He goes to the prison and he bails him out in a lot of ways. He's like, whoa, and all that. Um, he's like, I'm here looking for him and all that. And he's kind of looking around. I like, see him. like, yeah, sign this. Walks in, sees a bunch of people, sees like a bunch of muscular looking motherfuckers. He's like, whoa, I'm here to see that guy and all that. And he, he's like, he's like, yeah, Vincent, here he is. And he's like, I'm here to see him. Like, that's him there. It's like, whoa. And he's like, and he's like, and you know, he's talking and it's like the, it's behind the glass and then he's just blabbering away. Vincent, it's so great to see you and all this. And he's like, pick up the phone. It's like, yeah, you got to pick up the phone, you, you dummy or whatever. It's like, you got to pick up the phone. Then you say, well, it's great to meet you. You're not going to believe this. It's going to sound weird. Mm-hmm. But we're brothers. We're twins. We're separated brothers. Like, Twins, oh my god, it must be true. It's like looking in the mirror with not identical twins. You don't say, really. It's like, yeah, you could get me out of here? Yes, I can. So then he ends up bailing them out, walks out or whatever. Um, pretty much they're walking out. It's like, we can do this together. We can do that. We can do this. It's like, yeah, we can do that. You open the door. Yeah, thank you. We can get that together. And then Danny feels like, get lost together. Drives off. It's like, where do you go? Where are you going? No. And they, he reunites with him when he gets in the fight. And he's like, oh, that guy's a lunatic. And I, I like that kind of thing. Because I, I like that kind of Danny DeVito kind of humor against Arnold Schwarzenegger. And as I said, Arnie in this movie is such a lovable guy. Sweetheart. Like, it's like the opposite of his Terminator character. You know, in the first Terminator anyway. Not the sequels. Like, whereas... Like, because... I uh, just this his character in this is just so likable. And Danny DeVito is a lovable dick at the beginning, but he becomes more sympathetic and likable throughout the movie. Um And he's like, I, I love you and all this. He's like, no listen, don't start with the love stuff. I, I gotta cut that out. Chicks don't like that. You know, he runs out of that. Um and I love that kind of that kind of element as well. It's it's just fun, you know. Um so then you know, at the beginning, Danny DeVito kind of uses him a little bit. Um, this whole, like, so, we're going to go and get a car. But we can't steal a car. It's like, yeah, but it's for charity. We get the money. So they're walking under um, the parking lot or whatever. And he's like, we'll get it. But it's for handicapped children. Handicapped children, but we're doing it for charity. It's like, are you sure? What are we going to do? It's like, we could open it, steal it. Are you sure that's a good idea? And he's like, yeah, it's for charity. It's like, okay. So he ends up opening it up. He's like, Burr. he goes, oh, no, the alarm's off. And he's underneath the car. He's like, Burr. and then Arnie just fucking lifts it. Lock. And he's in it. And he's like, oh, shit. And it's like, fucking damn, dude. It's, I love the whole shit of Arnie just being strong. It's like, dude, this motherfucker is strong. And I just love that. Um, But yeah, I, I love them. Um, that and then they're driving around it's like okay you i'll drive this one you drive that one follow behind me and all that and it's just like it's like whoa and then danny goes drives around the thing and then they're driving through the streets like whoa and it's kind of going back and forth it's like come on follow me he's like hi and all that and they're, they're driving and then i i love like it's like whoa stop the lights and it's just going and it's just a very comedic scene um and just the city atmosphere and landscape looks beautiful at night it's all lit up and you see the, the coca-cola signs and it's just a fucking gorgeous 
kind of atmosphere and then even in daytime and summer like we're driving around it's great during when it's sunny it's like yeah it's like you drive the car it's like yes how do i drive it's like what is that do, is there a guide it's like yeah here's an instruction man here's the instruction manual it's like okay how do i drive i've never driven a car before it's like what oh god <laughs> you know i love that that was fucking great um, and then as they're driving and all that or whatever, he's like, come on, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. He's just there happy, like looking at it and all that. He's like, press the button. Hi. He's like, hey, hi, Vincent. How are you? He's like, good. Can we go this way? He's like, yeah. So then they're driving and they get there. And then they go to the store. They're getting stuff like, yeah, we got the food. We got all this, you know, and then they meet up with the girls and then. It's just this great, really sweet moment where Arnie meets the, the other sister that hates Danny DeVito's character. He's like, oh, hi. He's like, he's looking at a porno magazine. He's like, oh, hi. Sorry, I, I didn't realize that there was this porno magazine. It's just this amazing moment where he's just looking up at her and admiring her. And it's a really cute scene. They're just admiring each other and it's great. He's looking through. He's like, oh, damn. It's like, I'm here with my brother, my twin. And he's like, hi. It's like, your twin yeah and then you know the other girls are like hi linda this let me introduce you this is linda my you know and this is your sister and like they're talking and all and it's great I, we're brothers twins apparently and i i love that scene um as i said a very fucking sweet moment between the characters i thought that um the, the girls, the two girls, they were very likable. They weren't one-dimensional. They were, weren't forgettable. So there is a, an example of strong teen, uh, strong female characters in the movie not being forced. So I liked that. And they were fucking hot as well. <sighs> Don't tell my girlfriend. Ooh. But anyway, so yeah. um, They're there like that. Like, oh, yeah, we'll see you again. So like, they're buying the fields. Like, okay, so go. I'll get you right home or whatever. It's like, yeah. So he Danny him and Danny kind of start copying each other and I also love that the element of them kind of copying each other is like ah moves like because they're twins and they're they try to make them so alike and you do believe that they're siblings that's the thing they look nothing alike being twins but you believe that they're siblings you know and I love that aspect of it it's just fucking great um so I love that and then he's like right I'll see you later, doodle bye, drives and then Arnie will see you later, doodle bye. And I love when he's like, we got to throw some cookies and all that. Yes, I'd like to throw some cookies. I, I love that. They drive back to the sub suburban house like, yeah, that's great. You know, I'm telling you, that girl likes you. Are you sure? Is that your girlfriend? Linda, your girlfriend? Yeah. Is the other one your girlfriend? No. She hates my guts. She likes you. No, I don't think she does. Like, she does. Look, women like guys that are mysterious, okay? You're a mysterious guy. So they get in the house, they open the door, and it's fucking awesome. And first of all, this house is fucking gorgeous that they're in. I'm like, holy fuck.